we did test the floor models in August of 2004. And those tests disproved the primary theory behind the collapse of the buildings. It was, it was called the pancake theory. The floors would collapse upon each other into a stack of pancakes, and then the columns were no longer supported and the columns would fall apart. Well, the floor models didn't collapse in the tests, and they were, these were in furnaces, you know, testing furnaces, much hotter temperature, longer periods of time. They still didn't collapse. So yeah, a few months later, the government put out an update on their report. And they stated not only that the floors did not collapse, but they had done tests on the few samples they had saved from the fire zones. And those tests proved that the temperatures were very low. Temperatures were not hot enough to soften, to even soften steel, and yet, they're coming out with a summary statement that says that's what actually did happen, that the floors did collapse and, and the steel did soften. So they either downplayed those results or ignored those results, and they ended up putting it all in a computer Thanks to computers, NIST managed to straighten this problem out, and the old pancake theory was replaced by the inward bowing theory. According to the Institute, the heat weakened the floors, which started to curve downwards. The external walls of the towers also curved inwards until they could no longer bear the weight of the structures above, causing the towers to collapse. Their final theory is almost entirely computer-based. And the computer itself is not really accessible. They haven't given it to us to examine. After having investigated it more over the last year and a half, I found that, yes, they did contradict their test results, but additionally, they also did manipulate the test parameters. They doubled one thing. They, they cut something else in half. For example, their story says that aircraft combustibles were at 13 tons in the aircraft cabin. The FAA says it's more like an average of six and a half tons. That's double. So they double it. They double the time that their computer model exposes columns to fire 90 minutes instead of what we know is 45 or 50 minutes in both of the buildings, actually. So they double it. They cut something else in half. So they double it. 